Aloha, my name is Jennifer Andrea, owner of Ho'ano Wellness. I'm a certified women's empowerment coach and a licensed massage therapist with a specialization in lymphatic health and breast wellness. It is my mission to empower women in cultivating self-love and to offer a fresh natural approach in how we care for our mind and body in promoting breast wellness. Aloha, this is Jennifer Andrea with Ho'ano Wellness. And today I am going to speak to you about your emotional health and your breasts. So self-nurture, that's a huge topic um, in relation to breast health. And many of the women that I work with, I hear them say that they don't take care of themselves enough and they're not nurturing themselves enough. And I really feel that there's a huge correlation between our inability to self-nurture and breast health. So today I'm going to just share with you some of my insights on self-nurturing, share with you a little bit of my personal experience, um, and then give you some tools in which you can uh, start on the journey, on your healing journey of helping to release the emotions that may be connected with um, your health or your breast health or just in your own personal empowerment. So, um, you know, to me the breasts symbolize divine truth. And nurturing and if we're not speaking our truth if we're not um, speaking you know the, the truth of our heart then uh, many times you know that's when illness um, can manifest in the body so self-nurture is about being compassionate it's about listening to your needs it's about um, you know owning your power it's about forgiving yourself or others um, self-nurture uh, is about um, you know the ability to uh, take care of yourself by setting clear boundaries in your relationships. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I had an experience where I recognized that my breast health um, concerns that had come up for me were connected to an emotional component. I was in a relationship that was uh, verbally abusive and were, uh, my needs were not being supported and I felt not good enough. I felt this deep sadness. And this uh, relationship to me mirrored um, that I needed to work on some things um, within myself, but yet choosing not to stay in this relationship that wasn't supporting me. So um, throughout the years, then I started on this route of, you know, of course, making lifestyle changes for myself and learning how to honor and speak the truth of my heart. And as I've gone through this journey, of course, I've attracted better and better relationships because I've learned to love myself and um, you know, own my power and be more self-nurturing and listen to my needs. So um, Christiane Northrup, who's an MD and an expert in women's health, um, I love to read her work and she, um, gives really valuable information about the connection between our emotions and our breast health. And some of the things that she says in regards to um, self-nurturing is that uh, women who, you know, maybe are in relationships that don't support themselves or women who are in abusive relationships that stay or the fear of not being loved or, um, resentment or hurt or sadness or frustration or sorrow and if we harbor these negative emotions then of course that's going to uh, have a dialogue with our immune system and the cells in our body which then can permeate into a manifestation in the physical so it can be um, you know either a benign issue or you know if, if the story we're not listening the story gets louder and louder and louder and that's when you know things can can also come out you know in things like breast cancer so that is one component um, that I feel is a part of um, women's health. And um, so today what I wanna share with you is um, how we can release some of those emotions um, in regards to our healing journey, um, because that, that's a huge, huge factor, you know, in, in breast health and, and, and in talking to the clients, you know, that I work with and my own personal experience. Um, I think just you know recognizing that there is an emotional component is the first step. We have to first of all you know just be honest and recognizing that there's something there that we need to heal um, and and not be in denial. 
The second would be to feel and acknowledge these emotions. You know, many times we want to resist and push away and, and not be um, in, in our feelings and in our emotions. And so by, by feeling and, and, you know, asking where is this coming from, you know, maybe uh, a lot of times it can be, you know, something from our, you know, something we're repeating energetically from our childhood or, you know, in our subconscious mind relationships that we attract, you know, kind of repeat that parent of origin um, of, you know, what we experienced in childhood, what we didn't receive. So it's about giving ourselves that unmet need. So, so the second step would be just again, to feel and acknowledge. Um, third would be to set your intention. So to set your intention for healing. Um, so that would be letting go of um, an old dialogue, or again, as I mentioned before, forgiving yourself or forgiving others or it's a vibrational shift and learn, really learning what it means to love yourself. You know, loving yourself is not an easy task. And, and for most women, you know, sometimes we settle for things that, you know, don't really support or serve us, or, you know, we're drawn to these, you know, relationships that don't, are not in our, where we're not in our power. So, so the, that's a huge, huge thing is just really to um, shift into a um, energetic self-love. And then third would be the journey, or excuse me, fourth would be the journey into wholeness. So this would be where um, counseling, you know, see seeking counseling or seeking uh, affirmations um, that can help um, kind of reframe your subconscious, uh, maybe meditation and yoga, you know, uh, ways that you can really ground yourself and open up your heart. Um, support from a higher power, whatever your spiritual religious beliefs are. Sometimes that can also be really helpful. You know, we can't do it alone in this life. Um, and then energy healing modalities, things like heart-centered therapy dialogue, uh, which is a technique done by, um, or work done by Alea Chikli. Um, and also, uh, or EFT. EFT is a wonderful modality. So you help to release the negative um, beliefs or those old core beliefs that are no longer serving you and that may be um, that you know by releasing that energy it will definitely help in um, your healing process or as a preventative or if someone is going through uh, a health issue. So uh, lastly it would be making thought into action. So we have to be disciplined, we have to like set goals, we have to you know really go through the process and and it's hard work and it's, you're going to resist and but you know you got to persevere through it and and really you know um make some life changing you know um life changing circumstance you know things in your life to change and so um you know eventually people just get sick and tired of where they're at and that's what prompts change or they have a vision of something else that they want in the future and that prompts change so, so these again are some of um, the tools that I have um, put together from my own personal experience and that have helped me in my path. And so, um, you know, it's very important that, uh, you know, we recognize, um, you know, not many people recognize that there might be an emotional component with their health issues, but I think more and more we're seeing, um, you know, more um, dialogue that, that self-nurturing, that maybe, you know, a woman, uh, felt, you know, wasn't taking care of herself and that might be why the breast cancer came or, you know, maybe the breast cancer helped her to be more self-nurturing. She was able to start learning how to take care of herself. So anyway, um, so that's my segment today, emotions and your breasts and, um, stay tuned and we'll be doing, I'll be doing more about this in the future videos. Um, and, um, thank you for your time. Thanks for visiting Hoano Wellness. For more information, you can visit hoano.com or join me at Facebook at Jennifer Andrea.